Thanks. A former Lafayette real estate broker is on trial in Tippecanoe County for 13 felony charges this week. News Channel 18's Kristen Mayorano sat in on the trial today. She joins us now live from the Tippecanoe County Courthouse in downtown Lafayette with the story. Kristen? Well, Jeff, 43-year-old Brenda Hatfield is charged with 12 counts of forgery and one count of corrupt business influence, and those are all Class C felonies here in Tippecanoe County. In the first day of testimony today, prosecutors called to the stand 14 of Hatfield's alleged victims. Now, details of their stories varied, but three things were the same. Everyone who testified said they did not sign land contracts with their names on them, they did not give anyone else permission to do so, and they never appeared before a notary with that paperwork. Shielded by a friend's umbrella, 43-year-old Brenda Hatfield left the Tippecanoe Circuit courtroom for lunch Tuesday afternoon. The former real estate broker in pink blends in as part of the crowd, but for the 14 alleged victims who were called to the stand for her bench trial, Hatfield stands out in their memory. Uh, always very nice. Um, you know, when things come up that needed repaired, uh, it was repaired immediately. So I never would have guessed that there was underhandedness going on. Chris Mitchell says it wasn't until his co-worker started congratulating him on a new home he never purchased that he was clued in that something wasn't right. He says he was later told Brenda Hatfield had her assistants forge his signature on a land contract so she could receive tax breaks. This was someone that I was renting from for three years, someone I thought I could trust. You know, so uh, uh, surprise and hurt at the same time. One witness says Hatfield called her after the land contracts went through in early 2010 and asked her to tell investigators she was aware of the situation and was okay with it. Hatfield's defense attorney didn't want to do an interview for this story, but told Judge Don Daniel the prosecution can't prove Hatfield showed intent to defraud the victims. Now Mitchell says he hopes to see some justice. I'd like to see her at least get some heavy fines for this and never be allowed to, to, to sell homes on a professional level again, I would think. Um, I don't see how she could be trusted to. This bench trial is expected to last through tomorrow when Judge Don Daniel is expected to deliver a verdict. If Hatfield is convicted in this case, she could face up to 10 years in prison and up to $10,000 in fines. Reporting live in Lafayette tonight, Kristen Mayorano, News Channel 18.